Arnold Allen taking on Giga Chikadze in the featherweight division. Allen is 30 years old, born in Ipswich, England. So he's going to be one of the hometown boys on the show this evening, or uh, coming up on Saturday. Uh, training out of TriStar up here in Canada, as well as BKK Fighters UK. He's 19-3, and three, seven wins by knockout, four wins by submission, um, and he has a pair of decision losses on his resume. One of them coming in his last bout, a unanimous decision loss to Mos uh, Movsvar... Ivloev, uh, I know I'm saying that a little bit wrong, apologies. Um, that gives him back-to-back -back losses after a 12-fight win streak where he had four stoppages. He, uh, 10 of those 12 came in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. That is the third longest winning streak in UFC featherweight division history, including wins over Calvin Cater, Dan Hooker, Sadiq Youssef, Nick Lentz, and Gilbert Melendez. He has been in the promotion since 2015. Uh, he is 10-2 and two in that time. He's a pro since 2012, started that pro career on a seven-fight win streak. He is a BJJ brown belt. Taking on Giga Chikadze, 35 years old, born in Georgia, training out of King's MMA, 15-3, and three, nine wins by knockout, one by submission. He's been submitted once, but the other two losses were acquired the judges' scorecards. Um, coming off of a win all the way back in August 2023, and this is something we'll get into with him in a little bit. He beat Alex Caceres. That was his only fight in 2023 after just one fight in 2022. It's a bounce back after a loss to Calvin Cater that ended a nine fight win streak for him. His first decision win since 2020. He had finished his last three wins before that. He's been in the UFC since 2019 and is 8-1 and in the promotion. Uh, this is his second UFC pay-per-view. Uh, the first was UFC 248 back in 2020. He almost got into the promotion in 2018, but lost on Dana White's Contender Series, and he's been a pro since 2015. Um, and the, the inactivity is what has really got Chikadze over time, because he is a, a really interesting fighter when you see how patient he can be, and he's one of those guys, the volume isn't there a ton, um, but he absolutely brings the pop in everything that he throws, but he doesn't load up a lot either. It's a lot of just straight down the middle, um, so some really, really strong kicks as well. In that fight against Caceres, Caceres is kind of doing the bob and weaving and all of that, and Chikadze was just like walking him down and just pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Um, it's going to be an interesting test here against Allen, who admittedly has hit a bit of a speed wobble at 30 years old with the loss to Evloev um, and the loss to Max Holloway. Those are th those have kind of derailed a bit of a hype train after, uh, like I said, wins over Cater and Hooker and Yusuf and Lentz and Melendez. He had been building and building and building and building and building, but that did hit a bit of a wall. Now, the one thing about that is that while I, I am a fan of Chikadze when it comes to his overall style, um, Allen has only been really outstruck by Max Holloway. Chikadze isn't going to do that. And he was out-wrestled by Evloev. And really, like, Evloev was putting a lot of pressure on. Allen fought a really good fight in that fight. He just kind of ended up on the wrong side of that. I do think he is going to be able to get the job done in this fight. I think that the speed that he has, again, that's not going to throw off Chikadze a little bit, but I think he's going to be able to beat Giga to the punch a little bit and, and be able to, to land some of his shots. And I, I just think that when he's not fighting some guys who have elite skills in the featherweight division, he's going to be able to show a little bit more um, of what we think he can do. So I, I think he is going to be able to get the job done in this bout.